I am Anil Kumar and we will discuss an application of derivatives to find maximum or minimum. The question here is, the vertex of a right circular cone and the circular edge of its base lie on the surface of a sphere. The sphere has a radius of 5 centimeters. Find the dimensions of the cone of maximum volume that can be fitted into the sphere. So what we are given here is a sphere which has a radius of 5 centimeters. So this is the radius which is 5 centimeters, correct? So it is 5 from here and that is the center, let's call it O, and this is also 5, right? So the sphere has radius of 5 centimeters. We need to find the volume of the cone. We need to rather maximize the volume of the cone which can be inscribed or fitted inside the sphere. So this is a cross-section view. So you see a circle for the sphere and a triangle for the cone. Now what is the volume of a cone? Volume of the cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. In this particular diagram, uh, let us say that r for us is, that is the cone. So let us say this is r for us. To find the height, that is the total height, we have to add 5, let us say this parameter, from 0 to, let us say this point is m, 0 to m, let it be y. So height will be 5 plus y for us. So that is how we can get a relation. But here, what is the relation between r and y? We get a relation which is uh, 1 over 3 pi r square and height will be 5 plus y for us. Now how is r and y related? As you can see here, we have a right triangle. So from here we can say r square can be written as, let's write it down. So we have y square plus r square equals to 5 square and so we can say r square is 25 minus y square. So that is how it is related. So if I replace r with 25 minus y square, I get volume in terms of y. So we can say volume in terms of y is 1 over 3 pi and instead of r square, we are writing 25 minus y square times y plus 5. Correct. So that becomes our expression for volume. We can simplify this a bit, just say 1 by 3 pi. Let's multiply these terms. 25 times 5, so 5 times 5 is 25, to 125, plus 25y, minus 5y square, minus y cube. Right. So that becomes the expression for the volume. So finding derivative of the volume, we can get the critical number. So let's find derivative with respect to y. So we get 25 from, this is 0, that is 25, minus 10y, minus 3y squared. So that becomes the derivative for this particular function. Now what we need to do is we need to maximize the volume. That means we should find the critical number. Now, critical number will be when this term is 0. So, so v dash y equals to 0 uh, means that all this should be equal to 0. So, that means basically that this quadratic equation which we have here should be equal to 0, right? So, what we can do here is write this as minus 3y square minus 10y plus 25 equals to 0. To find the 0, we can use quadratic formula, right? So let us use quadratic formula to find the value of y, which will give this as 0, right? So, so we could write this as, it's better to write this with positive coefficient. I always prefer that. So I'll rearrange, I mean, just multiply by minus and we'll have 3y square plus 10y minus 25 equals to 0, right? So just rearrange to 
<coughs> get the positive leading coefficient. So y will be equals to minus b, which is minus 10 plus or minus b square, which is 100, 10 square minus 4 times a c. Uh, a is 3 and c is minus 25 square root divided by 2 times 3, 2 times 3. So that is what we have. Now we can use calculator to find this answer how much it is so let's work out the square root part which is 10 square minus and minus is plus right so it gives plus 4 times 3 times 25 400 right so let's do square root of 400 so 400 square root is 20 so we get minus 10 plus minus 20 divided by 6 so that is the value of course y in this case cannot be negative so we'll take the positive value so it is uh, minus 10 plus 20 or 10 over 6 that gives us 10 divided by 6 is approximately uh, 1.66 recurring so 1.66 recurring right so that is the approximate value of y now what we need to do here is uh, we need to check whether this value of y indeed gives the derivative the minimum or maximum value or not right so that is that is one concern otherwise what we can also do here is we can find the calculate the volume for different values of y where y could be as you can see could be from 0 to maximum it could be uh, I mean 5 and 5 10 right so y could be between 0 to 10 right that is the maximum limit for y in this particular case it could be 0 to 5 so I'm sorry y value could be maximum from 0 to 5 right now volume when y is 0 so if I substitute y as 0 in this case, I will get the answer as 1 over 3 pi 25 y is 0, right, times 5. So that is, that is the volume which is for y equals to 0, right. So that volume is uh, 25 times 5 divided by 3 equals to 125 by 3 pi right so that is once if I write volume for 5 y is 5 in that case 5 square is 25 we get 0 so now let us calculate the volume when it is 1.66 right so we'll now substitute y as 1.66 and calculate so it will be equal to, let us write down, we will calculate in terms of pi itself, we will not multiply by pi, right. So we have uh, 25 minus 1.66 square equals to times within brackets 5 plus 1.66 divided by 3 equals to 49.38 so we get 49.38 pi right and how much is this 125 divided by 3 is actually equals to 41.6 so this is 41.6 pi right so indeed we see that the volume is maximum for y equals to 1.66 and it is 49.38 Pi, correct. So that gives you the maximum volume for the current situation, right? This is one way of finding. The alternate way of finding this is that you can also find the second derivative, right? So let me show you that also. Second derivative will be of y. Uh, at this stage, some students have not learned this concept and therefore I am explaining both. Here is your expression. So we find the second derivative from here onwards we have this equals to 1 over 3 pi derivative of 25 is 0 this is minus 10 and here we have minus 6y right so that is the second derivative 
y is get greater than 0. Therefore, this will always be negative, right? Both terms are negative, which is less than 0. Since second derivative is less than 0, we have maximum at the given critical point. So we have maximum at x, I should say, y equals to 1.66 or at the critical point. So that ensures that we do have a maximum, correct? And so once we know the value of y, we can find what r is, right? So r is equals to 25 minus uh, 1 point, I mean minus 1.66 square square root. Correct. So that is the value of R. So let's calculate this. 25 minus 1.66 square equals to square root of answer equals to 4.71. So 4.71 is the radius and the height for us will be equals to uh, 5 plus 1.66 which is 6.66 and the units are centimeters correct so that becomes our answer correct so this is the answer so the maximum volume for the cone will be when radius is 4.71 centimeters and the height of the cone is 6.66 centimeters i hope that helps so in this particular case some of you can prove that this is the maximum volume for 1.66 using boundary conditions, absolute maximum. The others can prove it using second derivative. If second derivative is less than zero, in that case, the zero of the first derivative will give you maximum. Thank you.